So rational equations actually come up quite a bit in uh, application problems or in problems we might encounter every day in real life. There are actually quite a few of those types of situations that we can model with a rational equation and solve the problem. So I've got a problem here where I had a bottle that has contained several fluid ounces of a solution. Uh, somebody came along and removed two-fifths of the entire solution. And then later on, somebody else came along and removed what was one-half of the entire solution that was originally in the bottle. Um, and then altogether, we know that 90 fluid ounces were removed but we don't know how much was in original, in the, originally in the bottle. So that's what we want to figure out. Um, so the first thing we need to do when we're solving an application problem is read it a couple times to make sure we understand. And then we want to make sure we understand what we're being asked. So what we're being asked is, in this case, how much solution uh, was originally in the bottle. And then we want to set up a variable to represent what we're trying to find. Well, we're trying to find how much solution was originally in the, ver in the bottle. So I'm going to let x be the amount of solution originally in the bottle. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, and then I have to read the problem maybe a couple more times to figure out what information in there that I can use. I see a couple of key things. I see the words two-fifths, and then I also see one-half. And then I also know there was, there was 90 fluid ounces removed. So if I took the two-fifths of the solution that was removed and the one-half and put them together, I should get 90 fluid ounces. Um, so how do I take two-fifths, figure out two-fifths of the original amount? Well, the original amount was x. How do you find two-fifths of something? Well, you multiply two-fifths times that number. So I get two-fifths x. Okay. And then I also took a half of the entire solution. So a half of x. And if I add those two up, I should get the 90 fluid ounces that was removed. So I took two fifths of the original amount, one half of the original amount, put that together, they tell us 90, that's 90 fluid ounces. All right, so now I just have to solve this rational equation that we've been working on solving. So what I do, um, I say I've got a 5 and a 2 in the denominator here, and I want to get rid of those denominators. So I can multiply on both sides by 10, because 10 is the least common denominator between the 5 and the 2. But if I multiply on 10 by this side, what do I have to do? I have to multiply by 10 on the other side as well. Okay, so now I'm going to distribute that 10. So I get 10 times 2 fifths x plus 10 times 1 half x equals, I can do 90 times 10. 90 times 10 gives me 900. Okay. So now I just have to simplify this side over here. So I get, I, got, I know I can write this as 10 over 1 if that helps me out. But uh, 10, 5 goes into 10, leaves me with 2 up here. Um, I get 2 goes into 10, leaves me with a 5. So I've got 2 times 2 times x, which gives me a 4x, plus 5 times 1 times x gives me a 5x, and that's still equal to 900. And we're almost done. Add the 4x and the 5x, which gives me a 9x. And then my last step will be to divide by 9 on both sides, so I can get the x by itself. And so... I end up with x equals, and when I reduce this guy, I get 100. x equals 100. So there we have it. Um, and you could definitely check your work. How would you check your work? You take the 100 and plug it back into our original equation that we set up. Uh, and we should get an answer of 90 when we simplify. 
And that is how you would use a rational equation to solve a word problem of this type.